I'm playing Minecraft Story Mode. And what are you eating? Um, chips. Yep. And what, what type of chips are they? What are type of chips? That's the most important information. What type of chips you got? It's a... Burger ring. Burger ring. Are they your favourite chips? Yes, but this is the... Oh, who we got here? Ben! Get out of the way! Well, we, get it. we don't like little brothers interrupting, do we? Yeah. And I'm playing... Um, um, what is it again? Booger Race. That's the game you're playing? No. No, it's not Booger Race. Is that a game? Minecraft story, mode. Minecraft story mode episode what? Two. Two or season two? Season two. Season two. And you and how did you get that game? By using some of my um, paper money. Paper money. He got money for his birthday. And yes. He spent it on a computer game. Two of them. Yeah, it's um. What? Are you playing on the Xbox or the PlayStation Four? Um, yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's important information. People want to know yeah. what system you're playing your Minecraft story mode on. Stop, Ben. Stop it, Benjamin. <laughs> what system are you playing it on? Um. Um, the PS4. The PS4, there we go. Important information from Robert. He's playing his game, Minecraft, something or other on the something or other system. So what have we got, Benjamin? What are you eating? You know what, Ben? Barbecue pizza shapes. Yeah. Or this, the, the barbecue shapes. They're not... Are they your favourite? Mm -hmm. This is us boys on a Saturday morning. Bye. He's absolutely shoveling it in. Mm. We'll call that the Robert. No, actually, make just do my episode two. Um, I'm doing um, dying in good. Oh. And what, what are you doing, Ben? He's pooping in the The question your mother would ask, why are you eating on the couch? What? I want to. Because that is not allowed in this Oh, couch. come on! So I'm come on! Today, this is my lunch. I've got a beef burger, got a wrap, um, I've got lettuce, uh, I've got um, cheese. I'm going to put this on it. This is awesome. This is um, Cole's burger sauce. <laughs> I put it, put this on everything basically. Probably got lots of um, sugar in it, but uh, I have some of that. Um, that's that's the uh, mix I use, and I use a bread wrap. Nothing too fancy for me. State your name for the record, sir. <laughs> What is your name? What is your name, little man? Is that all you can do to your dad? Oh, I got a cough. What What did you just ask me just before? The the baby. No, you said you're hungry. I'm hungry. You're hungry. And what did you eat for lunch? Mm. Crackers. He ate chicken crispies, pizza shapes and barbecue shapes again for lunch. And now he's hungry. Is that right? Yeah. And why is that? Do I hungry? You're hungry because you didn't eat any actual food. They only eat babies. So what can we learn from this, little Benjamin? <laughs> we can learn that eating crackers for lunch is no good. It's got no protein. It's got no, oh, probably a little bit of fat, but it's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of bread in there. What a baby. You burn it through quite good. What a baby. Uh, what, what else could you have for lunch? Chippies. Chippies. 
So you want chippies and, and crispies and, and, and crackers just for lunch? Yeah. Is that healthy? Yeah. What about, what about an apple? No. No. It's baby food. It's baby food. What, what else could you eat for lunch? A sandwich? Chippies. No. Have some ham or cheese. Put some lettuce. Yeah, baby. Oh, we don't need any crazy talk from little crazy men. So wh <laughs> what are you going to eat for lunch? Everybody wants to know on YouTube what you want for lunch. <laughs> I'm never going to win with this one. I was about to say I'm in a quiet corner of the house, but my little son Benjamin came in and he was hungry. He wanted chippies for lunch. Now, I'll get on to about that in a minute, but basically this is a Wayne video. Hi, I'm Michael, aka Not The Big Guy. How are we all going this week? This is a weigh-in video. So what did I weigh this morning? 94.7 kilograms, so that's a one kilo loss. So do we celebrate that? Yes, we. I like the result, it's a great result, but think about the things I had to do during the week to get that result. So for that result, I track my calories, I just track my food in my fitness pal, um, to up to 2,500 calories, um, to 2,500 calories uh, per day, and I averaged that quite successfully. Uh, only about one day, uh, that was yesterday, and maybe one day during the week, where I actually felt a little bit hungry at the end of the day, but uh, most days I haven't felt that um, hungry, uh, so that's a very good sign. Um, so first week one kilo, second another one kilo, so hopefully some of that is fat and none of it's muscle because we don't want to lose muscle, no. No, no losing muscle. But the things that should be celebrated is the fact that I had a smart goal from day, day zero. I created a goal. I'm following that goal. So it's specific. I will lose a certain amount of weight, about 3.74 kilograms. It's going to be over 11 weeks. Um, is it achievable? Yes, I can do it. Um, is it realistic? At the end result, think about the end result, which is 93 kilograms. I've been lighter than that before, so yes, it is realistic. And I put a time frame on it, that's 11 weeks. So to be realistic, the other thing was 336 grams per week uh, on average over that extended period of time because there's going to be weeks or at times where you might have a slight gain or, or, or just remain about the same. So I think that's very realistic. So those are things that you should reflect on uh, to celebrate. Not, not the actual loss, it's the fact that you followed a plan. Whether you, you gain, lose or maintain, the fact that you planned out your week, you followed it and you succeeded that plan and something happened. You got a result. That's the main thing. So what things do I think that have changed this week to get myself uh, that type of uh, weight loss result? Probably the first week I uh, had a public holiday on a Monday. So that means my energy output wasn't the same as this week. So this week I had a full week and I did an extra gym session. So my energy, or my average daily output of energy uh, was a lot greater than last week. So I didn't drop my food content. I, I just slightly increased my energy output and it's given me a good result. But in the past, uh, in my previous um, weight loss, um, I basically got up at 4.30 every morning and went for an hour and a half walk, about six days out of out of the week. I did two or three gym sessions, you know, uh, after about two or three months into uh, my weight loss. And I maintained that for, I basically lost a lot of weight uh, to get a high energy output, but I had to get up so early in the morning. So my current job, uh, it's a lot uh, more active, getting up and down, serving customers a lot more often. Um, I have to park, uh, quite a quite a fair distance from from the shopping center where I work, so I had to. Um, so that's a bit more energy output in the morning and the afternoon. So I don't have to rely on that. So just food for thought. Brings me to the title of the video: Confessions of a Madman. So as I mentioned before, in my previous weight loss, where I went from 143 kilograms down to 90 kilograms. Uh, probably a couple of things I wanted to confess. Number one, 
I was very consistent of getting up early in the morning, like 4.30, quarter to five, went out for an hour and a half walk. I did this six or seven days a week. Even if I had to mow the lawn, I got up and an hour and a half walk, then mowed the lawn. It's not very nice. So that's one of my major confessions that I had to do. I was very religious. I was a fanatic of getting up early in the morning and actually going for a long walk. I don't do that anymore. It's unrealistic and most of the population of this world would not actually, if like to purposely do it. I mean, if you had to walk to work or that was the only way you could get to work was to actually have that type of uh, kilometers that you're doing every day, fair enough. But I was actually getting up very early in the morning. That was two and a half hours, you know, getting up, making breakfast, um, doing a poop. You know, because you've got bodily functions that you have to take care of in the morning. Going out for a walk, hour and a half, um, it's probably like eight kilometers, seven kilometers. Come home, get dressed, go to work. Um, not doing that anymore. It's a, a major toll on the body. Um, it only worked because my that the job I had at the time wasn't very very active, uh, but now couldn't do it. I don't, I don't think it's old age or anything like that. It's just unrealistic, put it that way. So that's one of my major confessions of my previous weight loss that gave me a very high energy output and gave me a calorie deficit, but it's not going to work this time. So that's one of my major confessions of my madness in my weight loss before. Confession of my madness in, in my previous weight loss was probably supplements. They're a complete utter waste of time. You should really consult your health professional whether you should have one or not um, instead of trying to self-medicate. I mean, it's pretty harmless having a fish oil tablet and a multivitamin. Whether you decide to have one of them or not is up to you. But I'm talking more about the protein supplements, uh, protein bars, um, BCAAs, and um, teas. I had heaps of them and I thought at some time, uh, especially the BCAs, they would help me recover from weight sessions and I probably wasted a good fair amount of money. Um, they're not really needed if you've got a good diet. Um, whether you like taking them or not is up to you, but I don't even take a multivitamin anymore um, or a fish oil tablet. I just have a good well-round diet. Um, I've got a bit of a cold at the moment, so yeah, I will take a multivitamin in the morning, but um, I've also changed my lunch up a bit this week. Um, got a bit of cauliflower and um, broccoli in my and some sweet potato in my daily lunches, which you we just saw before. So uh, that ups the vitamin C content. So hopefully that helps me, um, you know, recover from this cold that I've got um, that I've picked up in the last 24 hours. So um, that's one other confession I have to make is supplements. They're not needed. Um, they're in the fun category, uh, especially like protein powder and protein bars. They can be in the fun category. They're just food. Uh, they're not needed uh, if you've got a good diet. And um, at some point in time, I, I felt that I needed to have them uh, to have a good weight loss result. So that's probably one of my confessions. Uh, number one, unrealistic uh, exercise regime. And number two would have to be... Um, supplements. My last confession is not knowing when it's probably not going to work for you. Um, I think I've tried too hard at the things that have worked in the past and not knowing when to stop. So when you're in some sort of madness or some crazy state where you just think it's working and no one else will tell you that it's not going to work, but you know it's going to work but it doesn't work. So you'll try it and keep on going and keep on going and nothing else will, nothing else is going to matter. You can hurt everybody in the world and uh, like getting up in the morning. I can't do that forever. I've got a family. I have to get kids breakfast and help um, get the day going for the family and I can't avoid that forever. So, kind of message but anyway I'm gonna wrap this video up so great weight loss this week um, 
just realizing that in my previous weight loss, um, a little bit of madness went involved and um, I'm kind of recovering from that madness. So this time, this current weight loss is going to use more of my head and um, less, less madness and more, more, more being a bit realistic and um, being me, put it that way. Anyway, thank you very much for watching for my um, videos and uh, see what I can do for next week and um, hopefully I get better. And uh, thank you very much. Keep it real. This is not the big guy signing out for this week and this vlog. I do one of those things.